Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to my last episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to make our way down to the Kiln of the First Flame. But before we do... I did use up all my souls. You don't have to. I just wasn't doing anything with them and I ended up using them. So I didn't change much. I didn't level up or anything. Everything's pretty much the same. I did go ahead and buy five homeward bones. Go ahead and do that. Um, I just went up to the lady in the aqueducts up there and uh, bought five homeward bones. All right. Now that it's all been said, let's go ahead and get started with wrapping everything up. We'll start by talking to this kind lady here. Oh, hello again. We're both managing quite well, aren't we? But I haven't found my father yet. Have you seen him? Really? Then I must be off. I'm sorry he's caused you trouble. He has a knack for that. If he just stay put... We're going to go ahead and we're going to talk to everybody over here in Firelink Shrine real quick. Here with Griggs, you can buy the rest of his spells if you'd like. I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to kill him after we get a bit of dialogue from him. Either way, if you buy the rest of his spells and he goes to Sin's Fortress and you kill him, you're going to get the exact same items as if you kill him right here. So instead of having to do that extra step, you can get the dialogue, uh, buy all his spells and whatnot if you want, and then kill him here. Oh, there you are. Just so you know, Master Logan has left on his own again. It seems that he is still determined to find the famed Regal Archives in Anor Londo. I intend to search for him. Only before I leave, there is one thing I wish to do. You see, Master Logan has left most of his books. With them, I could teach you Logan sorcery. You have done much to assist me. Before I leave on this journey, I will teach you all that Logan has to share. Oh, hello. You made it. Then let us begin. As promised, I shall bequeath Master Logan's sorcery to you. It's not that I'm concerned for Master Logan's welfare. Even in this treacherous land, Logan's skills are unmatched. He is a true hero. No, the reason I seek Logan is... Well, it's really my own conceit now, isn't it? Goodbye, then. Do stay safe. Damn, you've lost it, haven't you? Oh, Master Logan. Farewell, Griggs. So we get a humanity, we get the hush sorcery, and we get the slumbering dragon crest ring. Let's go up here. We're going to go talk to a merchant real quick. I'm going to go up top here and kill the guy throwing firebombs at us. These guys should be chumps compared to what you're used to now. Oh my goodness. Go up the stairs, Mr. Wayne. Gonna run and jump across. We've done this before. And then let's go ahead and talk to this kind guy. We did meet him down in the depths. This is the same guy. He essentially sells you boss armor. Hey, Shamai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> Haha. You can buy the master key from him. You can also come down here and buy the Iron Golem set and Smoes. Well, it depends on who you kill, on whose armor you're going to get when you fight uh, the two guys in Anor Londo. And then right here you can get Artorius's set, 
which I think is going to be people's more favored set. It's not too heavy, and it looks pretty awesome. So I'm not going to buy anything from him. I'm going to go ahead and leave. He doesn't have any dialogue that is interesting at all. So, Well, that is a shame then, but no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Alright, get a running start. Jump. We're going to go talk to Patches after we talk to... Um, Shit, what? Petrus. I was like, damn it, what's this guy's name? Ah, oh, you. Have you seen my lady? Oh, blast, where might she be? And would she be safe? He's talking about the lady down in the catacombs that we found, or, well, the Tomb of the Giants, where her cleric guards died. That's who he's talking about. Let's talk to Patches. Oh, we meet again. How many of you are there? You've come at the perfect time. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And wondrous treasures have I, at a special price for you. There you are. Have a nice look at them. Oh, relax. No more funny business out of me, my friend. Let's go ahead and talk to Patches. He's got a lot of dialogue. Here, have you met that backwoods Shiva? Believe me on this one, bruv. The man is trouble. I can see it in his eyes. I just can. Hm. No doubt about it. Watch him. Yeah. Have you met that sunbathing Solaire? Believe me on this one, bruv. He's a complete idiot. But he happens to be an awfully strong idiot. So just nod your head and keep him on your side. <laughs> Wait, have you met Petrus? That self-proclaimed cleric? <laughs> Believe me on this one, bruv. The man is scum. Don't you be fooled by his claims to do good. They're all the same, those rotten clerics. Oi, have you met Lautrec the Embraced? Believe me on this one, bruv. He's completely mad. He wouldn't think twice about cutting somebody down. So watch out for him. Especially if you've humanity to spare. What? Nothing appeals to you? Well, <laughs> you must have poor taste. Real quick, let's uh, talk to Patches again. I forgot to show everybody he does have the mask of the father, the mother, and the child. Oh, there you are again. Well, welcome to Trusty Patches' Trove of Treasures. We chop prices, not limbs. So, if you didn't want to farm up the masks, but you want to have one of the um, special abilities it'll give you, you can always just buy it from Patches. I'm not going to kill Patches like I did with Griggs. He also has the Cleric armor as well. Uh, just because I love Patches. And he's got some other stuff to sell as well. Alright, let's uh, leave him be. Come on, you can do better than that. Nobody likes a tightwad. You hear me? We're going to talk to uh, Sigmeier's daughter one last time after we get done with down here. We're going to give the blacksmith down here um, our crystal ember. Or not crystal ember. Uh, it's one of the embers that we had got. Send the elevator back up. Let's go ahead and talk to the blacksmith now. Hey, hang on. Hey, hang on. 
that's a sorcery ember, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. First I've seen since my banishment from Vinheim. What do you say, friend? Mind giving that to me? This is no man's land. I'm the only one who could handle it anyway. Yes, as you should. I won't disappoint you. I'm taskless no longer. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idleness. Let's go ahead and use a homeward bone back to Firelink Shrine. We're gonna talk to Sigmire's or yeah, Sigmire's daughter real quick. Well, hello again. I have finally located my father. All of your help was invaluable to us. Thank you so much. I was finally able to pass on my mother's last words. My father, he went on his final adventure. Don't worry, that's just the way he is, undead or no. Sort of reassuring, really. If he goes hollow, I'll just have to kill him again. We'll be finishing up uh, their quest line in just a bit here. Real quick, we're going to warp over to the Undead Parish. Let's go down and talk to Andre. We're going to give him our Divine Ember. Oh, my. What a brilliant ember you have there. I've only heard legends of such specimens. The embers used for the secret rites of divine blacksmiths. Perhaps you could lend it to me. I've long dreamed of forging divine weapons. Ah, splendid, splendid. Thank you, Andre of Astora never disappoints, I assure you. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. We're going to backtrack to where we got our first Firekeeper's Soul. And then we'll Homeward Bone back after we go over there. I'm just going to take out these enemies real quick. If we come over here, there is a lady, the one that we found in the tomb of the giants, that is usually resting here. But because we talked to Petrus, he, he went ahead and he killed her. He's actually not a good dude. And um, Patches actually tells us, hey, this guy is actually very shady and messed up. So he went and killed her. Let's go ahead and grab seven humanity and the pendant from her. Then let's homeward bone back to Firelink. We're going to talk to Petrus and then we're going to kill Petrus. Exact our revenge. Are you sure? Then, milady, what terrifying news. What am I to do? All because of my shortcomings. It is my fault. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a lying asshole. By the lords. <laughs> no. This can't be. It can't end like this. Get two humanity. The ivory talisman. Which I think he took from her. Personally. That's just my thoughts. But I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and rest at the bonfire again. 
We're going to go to the Daughter of Chaos. See everybody there. We're going to take the elevator down. We'll send it back up as usual. I'm not going to bother killing these guys. They're non-hostile. They'll just run away. And um, not really worth killing. Let's go ahead and talk to Solaire. Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. Let's head back to Firelink Shrine. I'll see everybody there. Now we're going to head over to the Stone Dragon. This is going to be a very long run. We essentially have to run all the way back to where the Great Hollow is. I'm not going to bother fighting any of the clam guys. I'm just going to run past them. It's irrelevant. If you want to fight them for some twinkling uh, titanite or some purging stones, feel free. Extremely long run. Right here in Sigmire's quest. One of the, or actually not one, it is the longest quest in the game. We're going to get our last Titanite slab, so let's go ahead and do that now and talk to Sigmire's daughter again. My father, old hollow man, he's been subdued. He will cause no more trouble. It's finally over. I will return to Katarina. You assisted us most gratefully. I can hardly return the favor, but please accept this. It's of no use to me now. Oh, Father. Dear Father. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head 
back to Firelink Shrine. Alright, we have one more stop before we are going to go to the Kiln of the First Flame. And we want to go to Anarlando. Which, Chamber of the uh, Princess. That's where we want to go, I'm sorry. Hop on the elevator, take it down. We're going to go over to the blacksmith. We're going to give him another ember. And then we are going to go kill Gwendolyn. Now, normally to get into Gwendolyn's boss area, you need the seance ring. But because we killed Guinevere, or well, the illusion of Guinevere, that's already open for us. We don't have to worry about the seance ring. Mm -hmm. What's that? Shiny, shiny. Give me that. I make weapons shiny. I had shiny, shiny. I make weapons shiny. Come it soon. Also, just a uh, side note, the only reason you would want to go into Gwendolyn's, um, like, not boss area, but chamber, before, like, killing... Guinevere's illusion is to get into a covenant of the dark moon so it's kind of a personal thing I probably should have mentioned that when we came into in Orlando the first time but I don't know I don't find it very relevant I suppose maybe because I'm playing offline I don't find it relevant so apologies to anybody that's playing online that might have um, wanted that uh, covenant. If you want to rest at that bonfire and kindle it, you can. I have 20 Estus and I'm pretty confident in killing uh, Gwendolyn. He's not a hard boss. Just a lot of running, to be honest. Let's go ahead and go through the fog wall and I'll see everybody on the other side. Heretic. First thou offendeth the Godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the Great Lord. I am the Dark Sun, Gwendolyn. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence. It. He's not hard. He's got three attacks. Two are sorceries and one is shooting arrows at you. That's the first sorcery he can do. That's the second. Dodge these bastards. They do hurt. It all stacks and ugh. He's just spamming it now. Yeah, when he gets to doing magic, just, in my opinion, just run side to side.
Ugh. He is being a jerk today. Just spamming spells. There we go. Ran out of stamina. Womp womp. Yes, keep doing the arrows, bud. Oh, heretic. Swathed in dark. An eternal curse upon thee. We get the soul of Gwendolyn, and then if we run all the way to the back here, we'll get a few items as well. Get the brass armor. And we get the Miracle Sunlight Blade. And then over here, this is just an empty chest. Nothing in there. Let's go ahead and Homeward Bone back to Firelink Shrine. I'll see everybody there. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way down to the Kiln of the First Flame. So you can... Talk to Fram, and he'll bring you down there. But I also want to show everybody an alternate way to get down to the kiln. So there you go. You don't actually have to talk to Fram and have him bring you down here. You can just go ahead and hop down. Let's go ahead and offer the Lord Souls. Let's go ahead and rest at the Lord Vessel here, just in case we die or anything like that. Right here is pretty cool, between uh, the Kiln of the First Flame and the Altar of the Lord Vessel. Some timey-wimey stuff, you can see these Silver Knights kind of phasing in and out, going through time, I think that's pretty cool. Get a good look of the kiln of the first flame. Got quite a few black knights here. You can farm their weapons or a titanite chunk from them. They do have a chance to drop regular titanite chunks, blue titanite chunks, red and white titanite chunks. And of course, their weapons and shield. I'm going to go ahead and drink an Estus.
There's a red titanite chunk for us. Get another Black Knight's attention. We'll fight him over here, though. Get another Titanite chunk. Get the Black Knight armor set. That's a pretty cool armor set as well. I like that armor set. Normally right here is where you would summon in Solaire. I actually had to re-record re um, this episode because I had some video issues. So I was going to summon in Solaire for the last fight. But I think it's pretty cool if we uh, fight Gwyn on our own. He did that jumping attack. I probably should have just dodged. There's a white Titanite chunk as well. Oh my goodness, I'm getting my ass kicked by these Black Knights. We haven't even got to Gwyn yet and get my ass kicked. And then we got a blue chunk and a shield. Okay, so I think right here is a good place to say goodbye to everybody. I'm going to let the fight with Gwyn play out with no commentary and then let the credits roll. So first and foremost, I want to tell everybody, thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that this walkthrough helped you out in some way or the other, or just was entertaining, if not anything. It really does mean the world to me that you stop by. If you really enjoyed the video or even the walkthrough, please hit that thumbs up button or don't. Um, also, you know, let me know why down in the comments below. It does really help the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.